everyone, it's your girl Yana, and I'm back today with yet another video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at some really scary and disturbing videos from all over the internet. So I really hope you're ready. And if you are, don't forget to smash the like button and the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into it. Most of this looks normal, but there's just one thing out of place. See if you can spot it. TikToker Erwin Bomang shares this mysterious video. Did you see her? There is a strange girl in white lurking on the sidelines. Well, she could very well just be a curious villager who's come to see the show. She looks extremely out of place. She's also standing eerily still. I'm not so sure what to make of this. She could be an apparition, but it's not 100%. This is definitely a really difficult one to explain what could be going on here. Either there's a random girl lurking around this field or there's some sort of apparition. And honestly, both are pretty bizarre. Domingo Calvo of Peru captured this crazy fleet of unidentified flying objects over Machu Picchu, Peru. Watch from the top right corner. <laughs> I was preparing myself to see some sort of flying saucer fly into the frame, but those things seem to be pretty tiny, so I honestly have no idea what they could be. It's just not giving UFO in my opinion. I feel like it's just way more likely that it's a bunch of birds flying together, but what do I know? This occurred just hours after a large meteor passed over Cusco. Could it be debris from the meteor? Or perhaps extraterrestrials aboard the meteor dispersed in their unidentified flying objects to cruise down to Earth? I'm not sure what they are, but I'm sure of one thing though. They're not birds. Why are we so sure these things are not birds? Let's be real, it is most likely debris from the meteor that passed by. Is your workplace haunted? Redditor Big Establishment 196's workplace definitely is. Watch for the figure walking from the Right. I'm gonna catch this weird, weird thing going on. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. I told you. I told you. The Redditor says this happens every day at 3.45 in the morning. Will some in the comments say the Redditor used a program to create this effect? It's a good one. It had mostly everyone in the comments scared. Based on the Redditor's post history, I think this is probably fake, but I've got to give him some credit for the effort. I can't even lie to you, it took me so long to be able to see what they were talking about. The figure that is walking through the gas station is so faint, like it's barely visible. The fact that they mentioned that this keeps happening happening at 3 a.m. tells me that this has to be some sort of paranormal activity because we know all the scariest and craziest stuff happens at 3 a.m. I just honestly can't imagine being this guy alone at work and seeing this. Obviously though, there's always the option that this was all fake. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. Old places must attract spirits or they just told a lot more history than most. YouTuber Vault of Fear posted this intriguing video of what looks like a stone castle. Watch the hallway. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, this footage is genuinely terrifying. Did you guys see that dark figure literally walk past the hallway? And of course we know that older places with a lot more history tend to have a lot more paranormal activity just because so many things have happened in them and so many people have gone in and out. And very clearly there are some spirits still lurking around this place. The anomaly in the hall looks like brief light breaking across the shadows, but without any context as to who else was in this building at the time or if there is a window situated on the opposite wall. It could, for instance, be a passing headlight shining in through a corner window at the end of the hall. You can also hear other people wandering around on the floor of the building throughout the clip. Maybe a flashlight was being used. Well, I do think this one's inconclusive. It does make for interesting viewing. In my opinion, it definitely does not look like a flashlight or any sort of light shifting. It does look to be a dark figure, so I honestly have no explanation for this, but it really is giving me sinister vibes for some reason. I don't think whatever spirit that is, is a good spirit. In early July 2022, several videos began popping up showing a vivid green sky over the Midwest US. TikToker Elizabeth Ann shares this one.
According to her boyfriend, the sky is not dangerous. I would beg to differ though. In fact, green skies are usually a sign that a tornado is brewing, as is shared by TikToker Lady Architect 8 in this second video. You know that movie Twister when they say it's going green? I'm gonna show you that. That's what this means. Now it doesn't look super green on my phone, but look at it compared to the ground and the trees. It's gonna hail. While I couldn't find any reports of tornadoes touching down, during the derecho that tore through South Dakota and the Great Plains in early July, the New York Times did post of tornado-like winds. I had no idea that sometimes before a tornado or a big storm, the sky would turn green. That literally sounds crazy and it looks even crazier when you look at it. It was fully green, like as green as the trees and the grass. How the hell does that even happen? Now at least I know that if the sky is ever looking a little green, I know I better go and hide. You may remember this clip from a year ago when it was trending in the Eastern European YouTube community. Now it's trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. So we're going to take another look. Appearing on Breakman, the clip is originally from the Singapore channel True Horror Stories POV, filmed in the point of view of someone navigating hallways, elevators, and a stairwell while being stalked. Its first-person perspective continues to give me chills, and the stalker is not of this world. This is another one of those clips that literally has me shook. That figure looks insanely terrifying. It seems to be moving around the stairwell really, really quickly, almost concerningly fast. I mean, it's very obviously chasing after whoever is filming this, which honestly just tells me that whatever apparition that is, it's definitely up to no good. Because why the hell are you chasing people in stairwells? What is this figure? And what does it want from this person? in. One viewer, YouTuber Abdul Mateen bin Ismail, pointed out a significant piece of symbolism in the clip that I hadn't noticed during the first watch. At timestamp 444, the person in the elevator is passing the fourth floor when a figure appears outside the elevator. Watch closely. Did you see it? comments if you guys saw the figure i definitely saw it whatever place this guy is in it is insanely haunted because it seems like wherever he goes there's paranormal activity well this thrill ride is a reenactment according to the original source it's based on actual events if this is indeed something someone experienced i'm surprised they live to tell the tale <laughs> no idea how I would handle being in a situation like this. Stairwells are creepy enough as it is, and now I have to be worried about seeing something like this in there, and I can't even take the elevator because I could see it there too. Literally nowhere is safe. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard is being haunted by aggressive demons. It started with the usual scratches in the night, and there's also the feeling. Here's how Donnie explains it. There's been a lot of that, and a lot of, uh, I guess, I guess chatter some good some bad and i just don't know how to describe it there's been times where i feel like some somebody's right behind me right now later in the clip with evps abound we're gonna need to turn up the volume for this one. Oh, somebody heard something i heard that a scream i heard a knock i just heard a knock i don't know it's just there's a scream, a knock, and then what sounds like a woman crying. I guess, I guess chatter. Some good. I heard a knock. I just heard a knock. I don't know. Where are these EVPs coming from? Did their source also scratch up Donnie's arm? If Donnie doesn't live in a loud neighborhood, I have to believe that something dark is living in the house with him. Once again, I have to be completely real with you. I did not hear most of the knocks and the sounds that he was talking about. At one point, I did hear a faint woman scream and that did sound really scary, but it was very quick and I barely heard it. So like, I can't really say that I heard much going on. However, the scratches on his arm do tell me that he is definitely dealing with a very negative spirit. This is a scary catch. The team at YouTube channel crazy about fishing and cooking. We're out fishing and cooking when they 
spotted something creepy in the woods. Watch between the trees. What the hell was that? Something was definitely lurking and running around the forest around them. These guys are just trying to have a grand old time fishing and cooking in the forest. And they're very clearly not all alone. I am really truly hoping that is some sort of animal and not like a skinwalker or a demon. Because that would not be fun. It's hard to tell what it is. It's too dark to make out any details, but it looks to me like a shape-shifting creature. Then again, it could be an animal from this distance. What do you think it is? It absolutely looked like it was shape-shifting. At the very beginning, it looked like it was standing up tall. And then when it ran a little forward, it looked like it was on all fours, kind of like crawling. So I'm genuinely confused. I have no idea what that creature is. I really hope for their sake, they got out of there as soon as possible. Dabbling in the dark arts has its consequences. CVS Paranormal analyzes this group's experience with a Ouija board in this scary video. And let's just say, it's not all fun and games. This video is originally from Curved TV. After a time of zero communication, the girls start to give up. I'm so done. Yeah, my arm just hurts. Leave it, guys. There's no point. Until this happens. You did that. You're choking. You told me. <laughs> yeah, you back. did that. It was totally you. I'm not doing it. The planchette clearly moves on its own here. Only one of the players has her hand on it. This is where John comes in. I told you, Jay. I told you it wasn't me. Uh oh. According to CVS Paranormal, the spirit communicates his age and how he had his life taken by spelling out G-U-N. Okay, wow, so it seems like they successfully contacted a spirit with a Ouija board. It must be a really, really powerful spirit because it's moving the planchette without any of the people even touching it. Honestly, that's a little bit freaking crazy. It spelled out the name John, so I'm guessing that is the spirit that they're talking with. However, you can't forget that spirits can also lie to trick you. So you never know, it could always be someone else. Thinking this must be a prank, one of the girls asks this. Do something then. Say, boo, boo. <laughs> Typical ghost. Boo. Boo. Holy After something is thrown in the background, the ghost spells B-O-O. -O. I'm not sure I believe every detail, unless the spirit is incredibly active, but I do believe that you're asking for trouble when you play with a Ouija board. Things are literally out of your hands. Whatever spirit it is, it's powerful enough to move objects. So I'm really starting to wonder if they were dealing with something negative and bad here because by the end, it definitely started to give me an evil vibe. While exploring an abandoned place, YouTube team terror Alex Stremo spots a terrible nightmare. You've heard of the lady in white. Well, how about the lady in black? They spot her again, hiding around a corner. Ay, como que vi que se movió algo. Hey. Sí, nos está viendo alguien. But eventually, she disappears. They continue to explore the abandoned place, and it seems like they're being followed. being thrown would definitely make me run out of there so fast. It definitely does look like there's a woman in a black gown just walking around this abandoned place. I do, however, wonder if she was the one that threw the rock at them. I guess we're about to find out. Then she appears again. <laughs> But again, she escapes, only to scare them anew. The game of hide and seek continues. Until it culminates. 
<laughs> in this. <laughs> Who is this devil bride? I have no theories, but this team better escape before she makes one of them her eternal groom. <laughs> definitely escalated a lot quicker than I expected. Not only did she end up throwing another rock at them, but this girl literally started screaming at the top of her lungs. These guys are literally exploring a completely abandoned place and this is what they run into. I think I would literally lose my mind. Kathy is being haunted by a musical spirit. It's okay, honey. You heard it though, right? This isn't the only terrifying incident in her home. Watch this series of events play out. And I'm hearing something. <gasps> okay, babe, yes, your house is insanely haunted. First, you had those bottles falling out of literally nowhere, and now somehow that door is closing completely by itself. I will never understand how people decide to stay and live in these haunted places. Like, are you kidding me? You're living with a literal demon. Get the hell out of there. It is definitely not worth it. On Kathy's YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmares, she shares more footage of the haunting taking place in her kitchen. The uploader said that she went to the basement to do laundry and when she came back upstairs, two cupboards were open and an ornament was rocking back and forth. She checked the security footage and this is what she found. is actually mind-blowing because so much paranormal activity is happening in one room. You have this random ornament just rolling around on the stove and then for some reason the cabinets are just flying open by themselves. It looks like whatever spirits are living in the house are super comfortable and super active. They do not mind making themselves known whatsoever. The ornament continues rocking through the rest of the clip. To me it definitely seems like this is a clear-cut case of poltergeist activity. At least it's not wreaking any more havoc, or is it? I guess the ghosts aren't being aggressive and they're not causing any damage, but they're still way too active, at least for my liking. Way too much stuff is going on in that house for me to be able to live in it. All Things Paranormal sent me this video saying I had analyzed their very first video at this place, and now they're back again to see what kind of paranormal activity they can catch on camera again. Located in Louisiana, this place is supposedly cursed. They said that here there is a tree that they say is so haunted because long ago the Europeans buried a native alive under the tree because he refused to give up his land. Now he supposedly haunts this place, keeping anyone else away. For this investigation, with only herself and her oldest son to help assist her seven-year-old daughter holding her heavy camera, it was only the three of them out there. It starts when they can hear noises in the pitch black. Only the swamp surrounds them. We're hearing things like noises around us, things being thrown out the trees. Next, more noises like rustling in the branches and twigs breaking can be heard. Because it does have poison ivy on it. Hearing noise of spirit. I cannot believe they're out there in the middle of the night doing this. It looks like they're getting some activity, like they're hearing noises from around them in the forest. However, it is difficult to tell in nature because it always could be an animal or something else. It doesn't always mean it's a ghost or a demon or something like that. Above her head, she can hear something in the tree. When she looks up, something from the tree gets thrown down, something heavy. Next, she asks, is there a spirit out there that needs help? Right then, she gets an answer. It sounds like it says black. What this could mean, though, I'm not entirely sure. She puts the EMF reader down on a rock and an orb flies from her back. 
You can clearly hear her kids whisper about the orb, meaning it's visible both on camera and in person. I am not really getting the haunted vibe whatsoever. Quite literally every noise that they've mentioned, that they've heard, has been a normal noise that you would hear in a forest. I think maybe if you're gonna do paranormal investigations in a forest, do it during the day. So you can actually see what the hell is going on. Next, her daughter says it sounds like someone was walking through the woods. Then a loud bang is heard on the guardrail. She pans the camera towards it. You can see how far of a distance she is from it. <gasps> that was right next to you. Look. It's a penny. They find pennies on the guardrail. Could that have been from the sounds they were hearing earlier? Note the guardrail is directly under the tree where the branches sounded like they were being walked on. Finally, this becomes too much and her daughter says she hears footsteps and they leave shortly after. Rustling through the trees. Back here, across the street. I hear footsteps. That too. I just respect the fact they went back here at all. It certainly seems like this place lives up to its reputation. I'm not sure if any of that was paranormal activity whatsoever. It could have been, but it also could have just been nature making nature noises. I mean, just because it's dark and you can't see, that doesn't mean that there's not animals everywhere all around you. Because there definitely are. I mean, you're in the middle of a forest. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by what's a username 4190, this redditor posted this video with a simple question. Ghost or intruder? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Okay, I literally hate this clip so much. That scared me way more than it should have. Did you guys see that face? That was creepy as hell. Oh my god, okay, it is definitely either a ghost or intruder. I'm not really sure which one of the two it is, but whichever it is, it is definitely really terrifying, and I think it might be time to get the hell out of there. The uploader gave some context in the comments saying, so a little backstory about this video. It was taken when I lived in my old apartment in Jefferson Park, Illinois. Illinois. I want to say it was sometime around zero dark 30 and I fell asleep on my couch and for whatever reason, to which I have no idea why, when I heard the door opening I thought it would be a great idea to record it with my phone. So they were asleep and once they heard the door opening, they woke up and started recording. I'm guessing in hopes of catching whatever it is on camera. And let me tell you, they definitely caught something. Cause that face was so scary. But some redditors were still confused with commenter Sabbath Omega saying, honestly, I'm I'm struggling to put together everything I'm seeing. I'm guessing the eyes you're talking about are the dots on the left. Everything is so dark though, so I can't make out details, like if that's where the door is, or if it's just shadows. Regardless of whatever it is, I'm glad you're okay. Home intrusion ain't a joke, trust me. Do you see what the uploader is talking about? I'm assuming it's the eye-looking dots on the left side of the screen. Do you think they belong to a ghost or intruder? I really don't know about everyone else, but I can very clearly see what they're talking about. Once again, I'm not very sure what it is, but whatever it is, it can't be good. I also really hope you called for help after that, because if that was an intruder, they need to get dealt with. YouTube team Ghost Dimension investigated Newsham Park Hospital and they weren't disappointed. The psyche camera hidden halls and Naughty Boy's corridor are said to be full of paranormal activity. The team captured this intense encounter on camera. Can you make a noise? Sound? Bang on the table. <gasps> what the f*** was that? Oh. Oh my f After asking the spirits to make a sound, they hear one. Bang on the table. <gasps> what the f*** and then they see movement. Oh, oh my God. Well, I didn't hear the sound myself, apart from the gasp of one of the crew, there's no denying that something was in the room with them. Must be one of those naughty boys they named a whole corridor after. I think in today's video, we are seeing the most paranormal activity we have ever seen. Quite literally, the moment they asked for a sign, the spirit gave them a sign. That ghost was definitely waiting and ready to talk. YouTube team Paranormal Boys spends an evening in this abandoned house, and what they experience there keeps them up all night. First, their camera battery drains almost instantly. This was full when I 
put it in, so I've got to put another one in. While speaking to the spirits, he asks them to do something and they respond. As they continue, the spirits insult them. Oh, was that scared? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Did you hear that? So it looks like we have another super haunted place. Not only is the place haunted, but the spirits are literally roasting them. He again asks them for action and they answer. Was that any of you? Okay. No. Then the spirit hits it right on the nose. Come on, if you go by it, we can communicate with you. Prove to us you exist. Communicate. That's exactly what we're trying to do with you. In fact, the spirit seems to be breathing right down their necks. Oh. <laughs> That's true. Did someone just grunt? Did you just grunt or breathe through your nose? Anyone? The thing that most interested me about this video is that the spirits seem to be directly communicating and reacting to the guys. Oftentimes in these videos, the conversations don't make much sense, but this time it's spot on. I agree, they definitely had some like very spot on conversations with the spirits. Not to mention the spirits literally saying their names, touching their hair, and breathing down their necks. Like I'd say that is pretty clear evidence of paranormal activity. But alright you guys, we have finally made it to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments which video freaked you out the most. I have to say that stairwell video where that entity was just running around chasing the person. Like, come on, that video was so, so terrifying. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.